Okay, so another thing that I neglected was just like the crankshaft, and I don't remember if I took a video or not. These are your camshafts I'm getting ready to put in because I've got all the tappets in. All the lifter tappets are all in. They're all lubricated. All the head bolts are tightened down, so I'm ready to put cams in now. So, on the camshaft, you basically, I take the way I'm going to do this. I'm going to stand this upright. I'm going to spray it down with the cleaner. Spray down every journal, rotate it around, spray it down. Then I take my compressed air, and these holes right here are what provide the oil into the bearings. Just like on the crankshaft, the crankshaft ones are much larger. So I have pipe cleaners that I put on a drill that I run down through there to make sure all the debris is out of there. Because if you're reusing old parts, there can be debris in there, dirt, whatever, from when you were removing it or if you sat it down. First thing you do when you start it up is that dirt will sling into your uh, bearing journals and score it. So I'll take cleaner. These journals are too small for my pipe cleaners. So what I do is I take a really heavy duty paper clip, but I take the nozzle on the cleaner and actually put the nozzle in there, blow through it with cleaner, then take the paper clip, go through with the paper clip, then go through with the compressed air to make sure that all the debris is out of there. And then I'll wipe it down with the lint free, free cloth all around every single journal. Then these journals as well, you're going to wipe down because you don't want any debris on those. As you can see, there's debris. I'm going to spray it down, wipe it down, blow it off so that all the debris is gone. Then you take them and you set them in and I will come back and show you as I'm installing the cam caps when everything's cleaned. Okay, so now I'm prepped to put these cams in. And on disassembly, I marked them. One, which is driver's side, one exhaust, and the other one will say one I for intake. So I've got them all cleaned. I've taken every journal and lubricated them. I don't know how well you can see it. I've taken that assembly loop and rubbed it in every journal really well. I'm going to set camshaft in and you'll have to rotate it until it drops. Sorry for the terrible camera work. I'm trying to keep an eye on the on the camshaft as I set these. Oh, hang on a minute. You have to find the perfect storm where it sits. And there we go. Now it's seated. It's set down in there. It's in the journal and the bottom of the journals is really well lubricated as you can hear. So what I will do now, no, actually, I'll set the other one right now. One intake. Same thing. I've wiped down all these journals, blown them out with air, blown them out with cleaner. Lint free cloth. You don't want any debris going in there. Find the perfect spot again. Sorry, I'm trying to hold the camera with one hand and do this with the other, and it doesn't want to cooperate. So forgive the camera work for one moment while I get it to drop. There we go. Okay. So now they're both set in there. Wants to jump out of there, but if you leave it right there. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to come through with that assembly loop, come on every journal, and coat the top side now of these journals. Since the bottom side is coated, I'm going to coat these really nice. And then I'm going to take the cam caps. And what I did was beforehand, these are all lettered. Focus. They have letters on them and they will go a certain way and what I did before I took them off was I took a piece of paper and I did driver side exhaust and intake passenger side exhaust intake letter wise from front to back 
So that's how you know. And the letters always face towards the intake galley side, which if you look at this side, see the letters? Each one faces the intake galley side. So as these ones are facing here, the other ones are obviously going to face the opposite direction because they're going to go this way. So all the letters are going to be facing this way. So I'll get those in, I'll finger tighten them down, and then there's a sequence that you torque them down. And these cam caps do not get held down with a whole lot of pressure like connecting rod bolts, head bolts, all that stuff. We're talking like major foot pounds. These ones are very, very lightly held in. They're not extreme. So I'll get them in finger tight. Once I get them in finger tight, I'll go through the sequence in the manual. You start at a certain point, come down, work your way out, work your way out, work your way out, work your way out. Once I get those in, I'm going to move to the front because the, these journals right here won't have cam caps. That is part of the timing cover, the timing chain cover. So it'll actually be when I install the timing chains, the oil pump, all that stuff. And then there's a cover that goes over this front part that comes in as well. So I'm just going to get these ones finger tight for now until I get the timing chains, the timing set, all that. And then I'll come back through and torque everything down. But I'm going to coat these right now and put the cam caps on.